How's it going friends? Reckless Yuki here, and if you guys are looking at building a gaming PC but have no idea where to start, this is the video for you, so hopefully you guys enjoy, all right? So recently I've been changing up the content on my channel, trying to keep it funky fresh, and I've been getting bombarded with a lot of PC related questions of people who are trying to build their own PCs for their own purposes, who don't really know what type of components they need to fulfill those needs. And really, I'm not a tech tuber, I'm not a tech guru by any means, I'm just a blue collar worker who's able to utilize Google to research stuff on my own to implement that knowledge for my own purposes. And that's basically what I did with the PC you see behind me. This thing is just a freaking monster with three GTX 980s and a 15 960X for a processor just to kind of give you guys a little idea of what type of machine I built and before building this machine I didn't really know very much but I know some websites to look at when I'm trying to figure out what type of components I need especially as the market for PC components is ever changing so that's what we'll be doing and we'll jump over to the desktop now and I'll show you exactly what I look at when I'm trying to research parts for myself or for friends when I do recommendations all right we shifted over to my desktop and let's open up a browser so I can bring you guys to the first website I want to share with you, which is logicalincrements.com. And I have to say, I really love this website, especially if I've been out of the loop for a while and I'm not sure which PC components are out there to achieve certain levels of gaming performance. So as we scroll down this site, we can see that it's easy to read and well laid out in this nice colorful chart here. And as we hover over any one of these items, it brings up a picture of what it is, what it looks like, and a description of what it does and you know the quality level or what you're basically getting if you're getting this component in these different tiers. And even if you hover over these tiers, it gives you a brief description as far as what this PC is for. And then it does sample gaming performance for League of Legends, Dota 2, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty Ghosts, Battlefield 4, and Crisis 3. So I really love this website, especially if I'm working with a certain budget, I can easily know what type of PC I'm able to get and how well it'll be performing at certain games that I might be interested in. And as you can see, the star system there isn't just all unison, and that's because not every game is built equally. Obviously, League of Legends is definitely going to be something really easy to handle compared to something like Crisis 3, which is just something that beats your machine and you have to have a piece of a machine in order to play crisis 3 well especially on max settings and if you're curious as to what the star ratings mean uh, i mean like a star rating is nice but five stars isn't something that you necessarily really need and if we go down here to the important information we'll find that they do an explanation of the gaming stars in their blog so we'll open this up in a new tab and go scroll down here so as you can see the new star chart looks like so so if let's say you want to do 1080p gaming and you want to make sure you get at least 60 hertz with i'm assuming max settings you will need a minimum of three stars so three to two would be ideal for 1080p gaming whereas if you're trying to go for 4k gaming you're going to need something that is able to handle the game at five stars especially to keep 60 frames per second but four to five stars would be ideal for 4K gaming. So if we jump back over here to the PC build and we hover over, let's say something that is great. Uh, as you can see, it will handle League of Legends just fine at 4K. We even handle World of Warcraft just fine at 4K. But when we start hitting Battlefield 4 and Crisis 3, that's where it will really suffer, even at 1080p. Now, Battlefield 4 is a minimum at 1080p on this machine, but you're not gonna be able to play Crisis 3 at 1080p, even on this machine on max settings. Now you have to lower the settings, you'll be able to handle it. But that's just a good idea of what you could be expecting with this sort of a gaming PC. Or if we go down to even the monstrous class, what type of performance we'll be able to get, it will be able to max out most games at 4K. Battlefield 4 will struggle a little bit to maintain 60 frames per second. Crisis 3 will struggle a little bit more, but it's still able to handle it. So two GTX 980s or even two Titan Xs will definitely be able to handle handle those games. So that's one thing I really love about the site is depending on how much money you're willing to spend, you could easily see what type of parts you need for that build and then what type of performance you'll be getting from that build. And one thing that about the site is really nice is that it doesn't overcompensate parts or kind of 
under give you parts that you don't necessarily need or won't complement the other parts in the build. So you're not gonna have some sort of a beast processor and a crappy graphics card. This will evenly distribute the amount that you're willing to spend on the components that you need for the best gaming experience is basically what this site is all about, logical increments. So that's why I really like the site. And I always go here when I'm recommending parts and whenever I'm trying to get a good basis as far as what I can build for a certain price budget. Now, when you're first going to the site, another thing you want to do is make sure that you select the appropriate country. And this site is always updated. So as you can see for the United States, this was last updated on May 4th, 2015. And if I scroll down to a different country, let's say Australia, for example, I go down here and it was updated yesterday. So that is something to kind of keep in mind that it does get up, it gets updated quite frequently. And the reason why you want to make sure you select the appropriate country is some countries might not have parts available to them or even like different power supplies are recommended for different countries just because of the different power consumption and different power usage. So one key thing to keep in mind when you're using this site. So this is logical increments, the basic rundown of what it is and why I really love it. And then the second site I wanna share with you guys is gonna be obviously PC Part Picker. And PC Part Picker basically is a fantastic place, especially when you're building your own system where you can basically just build a PC from scratch, you could put parts into a shopping list and it'll show you the prices of the lowest uh, or the lowest prices you will be able to get in your country as long as you selected your appropriate country. And then uh, it will even tell you how much wattage you're estimated to use so you could appropriately pick the correct power supply that you will need. And let's say you don't like some of the parts that this would recommend you, you could easily just swap something else out for a different item or if you do want to make sure you get a uh, I guess like color aesthetics, you can choose the different parts with PC part picker and definitely know if you didn't do something right. So let's say I deleted this CP CPU cooler. It tells me warning, these parts have potential issues or incompatibilities. And then if you just click see details, it will tell you that this processor does not come with a stock cooler. You should probably get a cooler. It is highly recommended. So those are some nice things that this size is basically able to share with you or show you. And that's why I really enjoyed this site as well. And then along with PC Part Picker, they even have their own build guides or you could even see completed builds from other users of this website. So these are build guides. Let's say you have, you know, however much money you're willing to spend, and then it will show you recommended bills for that amount of money. And you could also see like how many upvotes and comments that this has. So if someone recommends something absolutely stupid, it's most likely not gonna be able to be seen, uh, especially at the, uh, featured uh, showings on the feature searches. So this i5-4690K uh, R9290X overclock gaming PC for $1,300, got a lot of upvotes and a lot of positive comments, I'm sure. So this would be a good way to also look up a gaming PC if you need something that is kind of more up to date than looking on YouTube for PC builds, especially because some of them might be a little bit dated. So that is basically what I like to do when I am basically recommending builds for friends or family members is I use these two sites quite heavily. And really these are the only two sites that I really utilize. And let's say that you don't have any idea what these parts or components are. You could easily just go down here to logical increments and it'll tell you a brief description of what all these parts are. So it's not really that difficult to understand. If you're able to do just a little bit of reading, you can figure everything out yourself. And then let's say if you need some help, uh, basically what you need to do, they tell you to try Googling yourself or they even, uh, let's see, assembling a PC. They give you some tips on how to assemble a PC and some websites you could go to. So how to build a PC by Tom's Hardware, click on there and it just shows you a good step-by-step -step as far as what you need to do when you're building a PC. So really simple, really easy to do. It's not overwhelming whatsoever. So that's basically it. Those are the sites and those are the resources that I use all the time whenever I'm looking at PC builds. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys again in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.